Welcome back to another video guys. So this one is a Utah muzzleloader hunt. Like I said, I have the dedicated hunter tag so I can hunt archery, muzzleloader, and the early rifle and late rifle. So I still have plenty of opportunity this year and next year to hopefully get a big deer. But I'm really going to try to hunt that buck. I hunted all archery hunt, named him Framey, hunted in the last two years. Just super amazing buck. So that's kind of what we're doing today. It's the Saturday before the Wednesday that the muzzleloader hunt starts. So we're just making sure the old muzzy is dialed. It's just a decent muzzleloader. I think it's a Thompson Center maybe or something. And it has a decent scope on it. Nothing truly special, but it definitely will get the job done. So we got the old Alpine tripod with my spotting scope. And we're just gonna set up at 100 yards away. Make sure it's about an inch high or so. So it's pretty close to 200 is my first thing so then i can at least get to probably i'd say 350 comfortably with this muzzleloader so that's kind of the plan let's get to it and just start shooting this bad boy make sure she's dialed and then get home get everything ready and then go hunt wednesday morning and see if we can't kill a big old deer with my muzzleloader every little piece that I can and cover a lot of ground so let's keep going let's just hope and pray there's a good buck somewhere waiting for me to come and shoot it Just jump two little bugs right on this little side. I don't think there's a big one with them, but it's hard to say. Let's just keep creeping over here and then I'll be able to glass this little basin right here. Been an insane morning, like I was saying, but I figured I'd kind of give you the game plan of the next few days, I guess. So in my pack I decided last night I'm gonna take my sleeping bag and a lot of warm stuff just in case I want to stay up here and now I'm about seven miles from my truck already and it's probably 9 a.m. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep cruising about I bet it's gonna be close to 15 15 to 18 miles away from my truck into this far far basin that I just I've scouted it earlier this year and all I saw was a little three-point, but it's just I 
some t something's telling me to go over there so that's where i'm headed and we're just kind of creeping through these trees just seeing if we can't maybe jump one and then shoot it i guess just jump shoot it and we got a long long ways before i even get close to that place it's going to be an absolute grind getting there but there's a lot of really good stuff i gotta hunt through to get to where i want to go so that's the update that's why i always come prepared just in case i brought enough food for two days and yeah i just figured i'd i might as well give it my all during this muzzleloader hunt even though i still have early rifle and the normal rifle hunt and next year with the dedicated tag so it's gonna have to be a big boy for me to shoot it but i just can't wait to hopefully find something i know i'll eventually stumble upon something really big and i just hope it gives me the opportunity and blesses me with his life <laughs> as weird as that sounds but let's get to it got a long freaking hike ahead of us One thing about hunting muzzleloader and rifle, it's just absolutely beautiful. Just look at that. Started hiking from where I was taking a nap. Didn't get too big of a nap in, but I was just kind of running out of time because I figured it'd take a few hours to hike up here. So I'm getting pretty close to the basin that I wanted to get to for the evening. And then I'm just gonna whip out the old sleeping bag, take a snooze, and then wake up in the morning, hopefully not frozen to death <laughs> should be fine if anything i'll just keep busy all night i'm not scared plans changed since i'm already so far over here i'm just going to get picked up on this main road about three miles away down off this huge basin and then I'll just have to get ran up to go get get my truck. It's not that I'm wimping out. It's just tomorrow I'm just going to head back up where I saw all those bucks. Since I haven't seen anything this whole time. So that's the plan. Good morning everybody. It's day three of the hunt. Yesterday I ended up not being able to hunt. I had to get a whole bunch of European mounts done. Because that's kind of what I do on a side. For a side business. And then... Also, I was shipping out a whole bunch of hats. And by the way, I have a lot of hats still in stock. So be sure to go get you one. They're really good looking. This is the multi-cam. But anyways, it's day two of hunting. And we're already up here. Long, long ways. Started at three in the morning, waking up, driving a few hours, and then hiking a few hours. So it's just a grind, endless grind. But I love the grind. And 
honestly, if you don't work hard at something, it's just so much less rewarding. And in the end, if I do tag out, it's just gonna like so much appreciation and so much work went into it. So I just am hoping for something good here soon. But if not soon, I'll keep grinding. I ain't gonna give up until something happens. So might take a year, might take two. I don't care. I'm just gonna keep on grinding. But we made it up here, same spot that I saw those bucks opening morning and then same with those bulls. And today we're just going to glass the same stuff and hope a big one appears. And really hoping for that big one that I keep mentioning in the video. He's just a dream deer of mine and I just, I want him. <laughs> and I've worked my butt off during the archery and now during the muzzleloader. So let's just see if that big boy will slip up. Let's just get the muzzy. I already took it off the pack. Now we're gonna hike up this ridge quite a ways, get to the glassing point and just watch the sunrise. Super peaceful, super simple life up here, but let's glass a big boy and shoot him. Morning everybody. It's day number I think five, day four of this hunt. I'm kind of losing track. But we're headed in to a new spot and it snowed a lot today. Covered everything. Said it was only supposed to rain, but up here we're super high, so I figured it was gonna snow. So that's really good. I think today if I don't see any bucks and I think there's three or four basins that I'm gonna be glassing. I'm not gonna be hunting this spot the rest of the year because this is the best day of the year so far. There's snow, it's cold, the full moon was blocked all night, and I think it was a blizzard, blizzard up here last night, so I figured most of the deer would just be bedded down. So if I don't see anything today, it just proves that this year truly has been a struggle because of the winter this last, this last year. So many deer have died and just not that many big bucks out there. I've only seen one this whole hunt and I've been hunting for over 40 days with the bow hunt and now this hunt. So let's just keep grinding. That's all we can do. I've honestly been really unmotivated the past few days. Yesterday I didn't even get out. Just I woke up, kind of didn't even want to go. And I sat there, did some euros and some business stuff. But for the most part, I just did nothing. And then it hit me, like, I'm kind of falling back into my old, old roots. I used to be pretty lazy all the time. I just didn't like working hard. And yesterday I kind of fell back into that and it made me realize like, dude, stop this crap. You've came this far, why would you quit now? So that's kind of what motivated me this morning. And I haven't seen a big deer in 20 days. Last time I saw a big buck was during the archery hunt, and you guys already know how that happened. I guess if you guys are just struggling with motivation, it's okay to take an off day, but still be busy, stay busy, because who knows, that off day could be one of your last days, you just don't know. So live every day like it's your last, that's what everybody says, but that's just true. But either way, we're just up here grinding it out every single day, trying to do my part in becoming someone better mentally, and physically so let's just wait for daylight to break and then head up this ridge super slowly and go glass these basins
so far nothing but I just got here it's absolutely perfect right now I don't think it's windy at all down in this basin so I'd imagine these deer should be on their feet if there are any in here and we're just gonna glass this for probably an hour and a half and then beast mode it up over on this ridge a long ways and get into these other little basins that I honestly guarantee you nobody hunts so let's just get to glassing new spot on the way to the new basin I ended up seeing three mountain goats at 20 yards super cool experience it's crazy how high these suckers live up here and then I got to the glassing point glass the one little basin haven't seen anything in it yet and then I'm kind of in this middle part that I can glass the one basin and the other basin so there's a way bigger basin to the left side of me and so far there's nothing in it I did glass a bull moose long, long ways away. Got some decent video of that. But other than that, just no deer action at all. Really tells you a good sign, though, not to come back because <laughs> it's as good as days it'll get for hunting, like I was saying. And I haven't even seen a deer track. I guess I saw one deer track. It looked like a doe track from during the snowstorm. But other than that, it's just been pretty dead. So I think we're just going to glass this for a few hours at least. Just give it a for sure good shot. And then I'm going to hike on the back side of this. I don't want to. I'm going to hike on the back side of this though. And hike up this big, big drainage all the way back to the truck. And see if I can't jump shoot something. Just in case they're down in the bottoms and I just can't see them. So that's the plan. Lease them up here. Getting after it. On a beautiful day. It's freaking cold. But love it up here when it's cold. Day number, I think six, or maybe seven of this hunt. I'm still muzzled or hunting, and it snowed a lot. So I think today could be a pretty solid day, as long as I can find some deer. Nobody on this trail yet. I'm the one breaking path. And it snowed yesterday, so it's a good sign. But got a 
long way. He's got a pretty late start today. Just not motivated. So now I'm kind of just living off of the power of regret. And I know if I didn't get out during the rest of this hunt, I'd regret it really bad. So we're just trying to get a buck and a big buck, a big mature buck. So let's go see if we can't get lucky and find one of those suckers. made it up here it's an absolute perfect morning it snowed like five inches there's nobody at the trailhead when I was hiking it and there's nobody up here and there's tracks pretty decently everywhere but they're probably from a few hours ago they're kind of snowed in but there's elk tracks moose tracks deer tracks definitely buck tracks so they're in here it's just a matter of finding them suckers I just don't think there's many at all anywhere on this unit but i know there's still a few big ones i just need to find them it's day number six or something of the hunt and we're just still trying to grind Well, first spot didn't produce anything. Right back up there on the ridge, there's two sets of, it looked like buck tracks coming right into this basin. So I figured I'd sit here for a while on glass and I just haven't seen anything. And it's freaking so cold today, I can't even just sit here. So I'm gonna just keep walking and see if I can't stumble upon something in a new spot and just try to find something. This is the most frustrating hunt I've ever been on in my life. There's deer here, I just can't see them. Like, I don't understand how. But, let's just hike back up this ridge and just keep glassing and trying to locate something. Nothing you can do other than try, so. I don't know. I know one thing is freaking freezing up here. I got every layer that I have on too so if I'm cold now I better better start walking or I'm not gonna get any warmer I figured I'd just keep updating you guys every hour or so so I've been hiking and there's just an insane amount of deer tracks I'll get you out of the wind or try to there's an insane amount of deer tracks up on this rim up on this big ridge and they're kind of going back and forth but there's a few at least what looks like at least one big deer like big old buck track is going down this ridge with a few doe tracks or maybe little bucks so i'm seriously just gonna follow them because that's kind of the way i gotta go anyway so i'm just gonna freaking follow their tracks and go super slow and maybe i'll see them in their bed or something like that it's freaking foggy as you can tell but jeez Hopefully I can update you here soon and there's good news.
Oh my god. You guys will not believe what just happened. As you guys saw, oh my god. I don't even know what to say. I'm about to cry. I freaking killed him. I killed the buck I've been hunting for since the archery hunt. Oh my gosh. I can't preach this enough is if you guys just work your ass off in anything you do, you will succeed. I don't care how long it takes you. I don't care if you don't want to go. To the, oh my gosh, it happened so fast. Thank you guys for all the support. I'm gonna, I just gotta take this in. Just take a moment. I can't believe this guys. Can't freaking believe this. First off, I just wanted to say that I'm just beyond blessed and thankful to have the opportunity this deer. This buck has been truly invisible <laughs> for the past month and a half of hunting him. And not just hunting him really easy. I've been hunting this buck really, really hard. And today, the fog swept in and on the way up, I just had a feeling to just keep grinding, keep putting your head in tunnel vision and just try and chase that goal that you've always wanted. And I just can't believe this happened. Like I am seriously so speechless and I just love hunting solo. And I'm sure you guys can tell. And all I honestly wanted to say before I pick this amazing buck up is just never give up, chase that dream. And truly anything is possible. I did not think that I was gonna get even close to getting a shot off of this buck. I only put one stock on him during the whole archery hunt. I saw him three days in a row during the archery and the fog kept coming in, screwing my opportunity with him. And just the just to have an opportunity with my muzzleloader was truly all I was trying to trying to get to and I had it happen today and I just can't believe it. I'll just show off this sucker. <laughs> Absolute beautiful deer. Absolute I just I don't even know what to say. Just super wide, super massy. I'm just beyond blessed and thankful to just do what I love. And honestly, I just hope this inspired some of you guys to chase that dream, never give up, and just truly, if you want something bad enough, you will do anything to get that. And that is exactly what happened during this hunt. I can't even, I don't even know what to say guys. You guys know how hard I've been working. I don't need to tell you how many days I've been out here. I don't need to say how many hours I've spent behind the glass and just haven't seen anything. This is just a true, almost a miracle, but in the end of the day, luck follows hard work. So we're gonna get some cool pictures of this deer. I just figured I'd kind of show them off to you and got a lot of work ahead of us. Hope you guys are enjoying this video and I just hope you guys keep following along. So yeah, that's all I, I don't even know what to say guys. This is just truly amazing. and I'm just super blessed and happy. This deer's freaking body is the biggest body I've ever seen on a deer. So this is exactly the caliber and type of buck I wanted to get with my dedicated tag. And I'm just more than thankful. I don't even know what to say. So. Let's get to taking pictures and just truly sit back and enjoy this moment as long as I can. This fog, it's just beautiful up here. And thankful enough, I have two of my good buddies coming up to help me pack it out. I'm a long, long ways in here and I was just gonna pack it out by myself. I wasn't scared to, but I just figured I'd love to have these guys be a part of something so special. And that's truly what it's about.
here's a little better look at him. Just absolutely beautiful, beautiful deer. Couldn't be more thankful for the opportunity, Adam. But yeah, super excited. I think he is gonna look beautiful on a mount, that's for damn sure. His freaking Roman nose is just insane. This buck's one of the older bucks on this unit, I'd imagine. Frick. <laughs> So cool. Now we're gonna start getting getting him cut up and wait here for a while for my buddies to come and help me pack him out. I'm just so thankful. This deer is beautiful. Giant freaking body on him. But let's get to it. We got him about done. I don't wanna get demonetized, but there's all the meat and then Here's the old head with the cape. Cooper and Kelby are super close. So any second now they'll be here and then I can show them off just a little bit better. But appreciate you guys watching this video. It really does mean a lot. I'm just trying to live a dream. And every day that goes by, I'm just pushing harder and harder to make this dream a reality it's slowly happening so i appreciate you guys support on all the hats that have been sold i'm really hoping to come out with some sweatshirts and jackets and stuff just for you guys so thanks for everything absolutely beautiful still freaking on cloud 50 hundred <laughs> if you know what i'm saying just like i can't believe this cooper and kelby made it what up <laughs> there's coop you already know coop and then kelby's been with me trying to hunt this deer during the archery hunt we could never find him. Freaking no luck. But freaking got him in the muzzy. Super happy. So show that Roman nose. Yeah, like I don't think you guys understand. Look at that crap. I'll have to show you his teeth too. But they're freaking gone. This is about as old as a buck gets. And that just proves to you guys that if you just be patient and work your ass off in anything you do, you will be successful. It just takes a while. And Honestly, this morning, hiking this ridge, I literally was about to back out. Fog came in, and it, the only thing that saved me was these random deer tracks that kind of cut off the ridge, and was like, well, I guess I might as well try and uh, follow him and see if I can't get lucky and find him in his bed. And it just happened to be the buck that I've literally dreamed about the past since I saw him, honestly. So we're just going to get the old top, the, <laughs> we're going to get the old tag notched. Super happy how this hunt ended up. Super thankful that these guys can come and help me pack out because by myself it'd suck, but it wouldn't be too crazy. I mean, deer are pretty light, but let's get this sucker notched, everything loaded on the pack, and then just enjoy it for a little while. And just super thankful. Like, I mean, how can't you be thankful about that? So let's get everything loaded up and get out of here. Look at that buck. What do you guys say? That's why you grind. <laughs> grind it hardcore. Look at that buck. Cooper's just down there taking selfies. 